Hello everyone! Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading. We're going to be looking, Spirit really wants to tell you basically about how you're making a difference in this world, how you are influencing, healing, uplifting, inspiring other people, how you're making a difference in general, energetically, like from the perspective of, of the earth, of the trees, of other people and from Spirit's perspective, because I'm feeling like each and every one of you are on a mission, you're, you're here to be doing something, and sometimes um, we need like that kind of higher power perspective to see how, you know, what, where you're at right now is like fitting into the bigger picture. So we're gonna be looking into how you're actually making a difference right now, because yeah, uh, that's what Spirit really wants to talk about. So I hope that makes sense and is clear enough. And just another reminder that I am running a group at the moment, you guys. It is a weekly light language healing live stream and it's already started, but you can join at any time. You don't have to have started at the beginning. There's also a group prayer aspect um, where you can comment prayers for the um, week ahead. And yeah, there's just a really welcoming community there now. <laughs> Everyone is super loving. So I'm sure if you want to join, you'll feel really at home. And it's going to be, this project in general is going to be going on for about six months. So just so you know, and if you want more information, I'll link it below. Okay, so I'll let you have a look at the cards now and then I'll see you for your reading. Much love. Okay, so group number one, you chose the Raven, magic, coincidence, synchronistic events. How are you making a difference? You are really making a difference, I feel like, in the natural world, like, okay, so I'm being shown immediately the perspective of animals and nature. So you might have a strong relationship with nature around you, with a tree, with, with your garden, with your pets, with animals around you, like native animals, birds. It could be strongly with birds because this is a bird. But I'm feeling like from the animal kingdom perspective and the natural world, like they want you to know that you're making a difference. They want you to know like the collective energy from, from the animals, the trees, all of the different plants. I don't know, you might, must be really, really either really, really connected in some way with animals or with plants or with your garden or with the nature around you. But there's something as well about when you come into a space, like when you walk into a forest or something, it's like you actually bring loving, healing energy with you. When you walk into a forest, you're actually bringing some kind of healing with you. You're bringing, um, you're bringing an energy of like the old ways, the old times, the, that's what I'm getting, like the, the, it's like something about the nature remembers you, remembers this energy of magic, remembers this energy of, of love, of, of these higher frequencies, and you bring it, and you bring life into this energy, like, just the way that you feel like when you go into nature, that nature gives you life, it's like there's something about you witnessing that beauty, but also, I don't know, just your frequency is really healing for like the trees and, and the more that you go into this relationship spirit saying like the more that you're going to actually make a difference on this earth because there's something about the way that you love animals or the way that you love the trees, the nature, the plants, the soil, the the bugs. <laughs> there's something about that that is like so much a part of your role and again it's like you fill in this space it's a really interesting energy you guys it's like you fill in it's like a puzzle piece going into going into its place like you fill in a space that is missing in nature right now which is the awakened humans you know um a lot of the time people are walking through nature but they're not they're not bringing that frequency there's something about the frequency that you bring that gives back to the nat natural world and that it's like a, a lost frequency that's what i'm getting like there's something about the world remembering this and wanting to bring it back wanting to bring back the care of the humans the love of the humans and you embody that it's really interesting you have like an old I don't know why it's so old. It's like an ancient energy in you. You hold an ancient energy. That's what it is. And it remind, it awakens even like the trees, the birds around you. It awakens everyone to all living, all living consciousness things. Like rocks have a consciousness, you know. And it's like it awakens them to a memory of like an old way. 
it's also because you're connected into the higher frequency dimensions and like that's how humans are meant to be so there's something about you being like the embodiment of the way that humans are meant to be wired very psychic very spiritual very feeling the connection with the trees with the rocks with the, with the soil beneath your feet you're connected you know and this brings a sense of connection to to the natural world yeah it's like this strong message coming through of the way that you feel rejuvenated and replenished by nature nature actually feels rejuvenated and replenished by you which is really special and, and really beautiful and there's like an ancient an ancient frequency that you hold that you're in touch with it's a frequency of love and of connection of unity and it breathes life back into the world wherever you bring it but i feel like it really is really welcomed by like the trees and, and the natural the natural setting the natural world like you breathe life there's some kind of like you know it's almost like you know there's a consciousness in the ocean right the ocean is alive and you can kind of go into the ocean and respect that consciousness and be sort of dancing with that consciousness as you're there or you can kind of be dead to it and numb to it and not really notice that 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 this water has a consciousness that that's that's you know interacting with you and there's something about the way that you meet that consciousness you meet the consciousness of the water you meet the spirits of the land you meet the fairies of the wood you know you meet them there you don't just like be numb to it and ignore it and kind of like dead to that energy and therefore it's like it brings it to life because there's someone else there to meet it and that is so exciting because it's like you dance with with the energies of the world you dance with the spirits of the world you dance with the natural energy Energies that you come across and you you welcome it into your heart and so there's this, some uplifting energy that you bring to the world when you do this when you recognize the um, the consciousness in all things you know there's something really special about you because you can recognize the consciousness in all things and therefore you don't feel alone like you're never meant to feel alone you're always meant to feel connected to nature and to, to um, the animal kingdom as well I feel like the animals really love you the trees really love you and there's a, also a real, real beautiful energy of care that you bring as well to the world where I'm seeing like if you have, you know, say, for example, you know, if you, you would like choose to save a tree in your garden instead of like killing it for no reason, just because it's maybe more convenient than having to repot it and, you know, care for it back to life. And it's like, think about the consciousness of that tree. That tree is so grateful to you that you took the time, you know, to move it instead of just ending its life because it's like oh, I can't be bothered that's the kind of energy that you bring to this world where you actually care you actually slow down enough to be like whoa I'm going to tune into this does it feel right for me to just chop this tree down or should I actually you know rehome it repot it and so it's the same with the way that you care for animals you might have a very you know you might live in a way that is non-violent is what I'm getting and that is so special that is so important like you could also be a vegan for example because there's something about the way that you're making a difference is through like not harming the planet <laughs> not harming the planet not not um unnecessary causing death you know and destruction where it doesn't need to be you actually breathe life back into things you breathe life back into things yeah there's something about your energy that's really rejuvenating and as well if you have any pets they really love you so much and you're really making a difference somehow through your relationship with them it's like so high vibrational love the connection that you have with nature and with animals okay so we're going to move through move on from the nature and the animals which is like such an important part of how you're making a difference which is really interesting because yeah there's some kind of energy about you that's more like solitary or um, i think it's just that you have a really strong connection with spirit you have a really strong connection with divine and then when you bring that into nature or when you bring that with with animals it's like it it's just lights up you know it just lights you up it's so special i think that you also feel maybe so easy to be yourself around animals in nature or when you're on your own and maybe there's something that there's something about other people i feel like they might almost be like afraid of you or something and you know don't take that too literally but there's something about your power that people are a little bit like scared of because this raven is standing on top of a skull okay and so I feel like there's some kind of you know how people can like fear you know like someone who is a herbalist or you know like that kind of old old school old earth kind of fear of the magic of magic of witchcraft of um 
someone who has a connection to spirits you, you might be a medium as well with this card and like people might be afraid like there's something about your spirituality that that might frighten people like the normal you know normie <laughs> they might get a bit afraid of you there's something really interesting about that that's actually how you're making a difference you're meant to be freaking people out a little bit <laughs> i don't know why let's ask why spirit why 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 is group ones meant to kind of make a difference a little bit through being a little bit frightening to normies? Why is that? <laughs> okay, well, it's really because of your intuition, the high priestess. And look, the back of the deck is literally the moon, you guys. The moon is like, oh yeah, it's classic. It's, it's all of that, you know, like how people are like, I'm afraid of the dark, you know, it's that kind of energy. Like you represent some kind of divine feminine darkness, which is the mystery of life. The things that cannot be understood. Like, how did you know this thing that you shouldn't be able to know, right? That's the high priestess being able to know things. You know things that other people are like, how did you know that? And it freaks them out because they don't have that same connection to the divine. They don't have that same connection to spirit. And that's sort of how you're meant to be making a difference is like, you don't really have to say it, say it even very often. Just your connection to spirit is said in the way that you hold yourself, in the way that you live your life. And that makes a difference. And I'm seeing again, there's something really intimidating. <laughs> People find you really intimidating group one because you're so connected to spirit that you really just don't give a heck. You know, I'm feeling like you just don't really care. Um, you just don't really care too much about about how people perceive you because you just you just know that you stand in the light of truth you just know and and you know that people are struggling with the light of illusion on this earth you know and there's something about you really show people the illusions you really show people that things are po that something is possible like you know for example you there's something about the way that you live that people feel like is impossible somehow they're like that's not possible and then you go and just live it live that out and they're like how does that's not possible how are you doing that how are you doing that that's the energy i'm getting from people is how you're making a difference is people like are like how are you doing this how are you getting that result how are you able to you know not live in this conventional way or have this connection with with spirit or speak you know be a medium or something like that and so there's something about this like you've kind of mastered something about the physical realm that's how you're making a difference is through mastery of the physical realm so that people are like how are you doing that how are you living outside of this how you're living outside of this physical density how you've like escaped the matrix that's the energy you're meant to be someone who lives outside of that matrix mind control and then people see you and they're like how are you doing that that's not meant to be possible that's not allowed there's something very unconventional about you group one maybe taboo very ahead of your times like idealistic you see what's possible you're a visionary you come with a mission and you're living that mission and so part of the way you're making a difference is basically through challenging people's ideas of like what is possible what is normal um and even like challenging people's ideas of um magic like really people believing in magic around you or you showing them something magical you know synchronistic events like it's like for example people might notice that you're always having these synchronicities happen you're always having um no matter what happens you always end up on your feet you always end up kind of in a good situation spirit always has a plan for you people are noticing this about your life and you know, I am getting, unfortunately, you know, but this is just the state of consciousness on earth right now. But there is a lot of people who kind of want you to fail. And I'm sorry to say this. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'm sorry to say this, but they kind of want you to fail because they see you flying so high like this raven. They see you flying so high up in these spiritual realms. Like, you know, you're, you're doing the impossible. They're like, how are you doing this? How are you, how are you in touch with spirit? How are you living your life like this? How are you manifesting such a good thing? Um you know, how are you, I don't know, insert whatever, how are you doing this? <laughs> they kind of want you to like fall. Like they see you flying high and they want you to fall. They're kind of hoping for that because it would prove to them that like their perspective of the world is true. And that's, it's, it's not your perspective of the world is true. That's why you don't fall. You keep flying because you're a raven and you're here to fly. You're, you're meant to fly. You're born to fly, you know? It's like you show people they have wings, okay? It's really beautiful, group one, because everyone can fly you know well i don't know. <laughs> i feel like we, we are meant to fly though right we're meant to, we're here to fly we're meant to fly into these upper dimensions we're meant to bring that energy down we're meant to embody it here on the earth and that's what you do and so you show people that they can fly that they don't have that 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 is not only is it 
possible, but it's normal. It's normal for a raven to fly. That's not crazy, is it? It's normal. But there's all of these ravens sitting on the earth being like, I can't fly. I don't have any wings. What are you talking about? And then it's like, you show them, of course you have wings. Come on, get it together. Come fly. That's your energy. That's how you make a difference. You're much, very much the embodiment of something that other people are inspired to then attain for themselves. And you show people their limiting beliefs. And some people are very triggered by this group one. You're meant to have a triggering impact. You're meant to have an impact sometimes where people actually, you know, are very impacted by you. I don't know, I get, I'm getting a big response, whether they're inspired or very negatively wanting you to fail, like wanting you to fail so that they are proven right, that they, that they are the ones that are right. Because you're trying, you're like proving them wrong somehow. You know, your existence somehow proves something that wrong about their belief system and they find that challenging and they do not like that and they 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 want yeah they want negative things so okay spirit why are you wanting to say that exactly oh just because like spirit wants you to understand that that's where the, the state of consciousness is it's like you're bringing a high consciousness frequency into a low consciousness space and that can clash a little bit and it's meant to you know, that's okay. And some people will be able to harmonize with that frequency that you're on and get on board and be like, wow, this is so good. Thank you for showing me this. And some people will reject, will reject that frequency and will be like, no, thank you very much. And that's okay as well, because you're still making a difference. You're still showing them truth. And the synchronistic events as well was really important. Like you might see a lot of synchronistic numbers, like 1111, you know, all those kinds of like repeating numbers, 444. And people might be like, how do you, how does it, how does that happen? Like, you know, for example, if you're sitting in class or something and and you open your phone up and it's 11 11 every single time and people the person sitting next to you is like how does that always happen for you i don't get it that's impossible and it's because of your frequency right and it's magic it's synchronistic events it's it's these coincidences that people are like what and you seem to just embody it your life is just a series of magical coincidences magical um events synchronistic uh, synchronicities it's like you really follow the synchronicities in life and spirit has your back 100%. Of course, spirit has your back. Spirit loves you so much and you love spirit and this connection that you have, like I said, it freaks some people out. It freaks some people out. I don't know. It's the skull. The skull energy keeps being shown to me and like, you know, that's a little bit frightening. Like there's something about it that is you're meant to have that impact. I don't know why, but you are. Okay, let's ask exactly why. Spirit, exactly why? Why is it? Okay, so it's because of the energy of the Divine Feminine with the Empress coming out. And I feel like a lot of you, it doesn't matter your gender or anything like this, it's just that you have this awakened Divine Feminine within you and you have a strong connection with spirit, a strong connection with your intuition, a strong connection with the mystery, the mystery of things. That's what freaks people out. The, the Divine Feminine is sort of like the energy of darkness and duality, whereas the masculine is light. You know, the, the Divine Feminine is the moon. <laughs> the Divine Masculine is the sun. You know what I'm saying? So there's something about the Divine Feminine that evokes fears in the collective consciousness. And the Divine Feminine historically has really been sort of persecuted and demonized and, you know, really demonized, you know, literally made into demons um, because they are afraid of this power that the feminine has that is unspoken you know it's it's the connection to spirit it's the connection to the intuition it's the trust in the mystery it's knowing how to navigate the mysteries of life and being okay with it and having that otherworldly connection that is so powerful and empowering and so there's something about this like you hold that ancient you hold that ancient goddess energy, you hold that ancient frequency of knowing, of understanding, of the high priestess. Look, you literally got the high priestess and the empress. <laughs> wow. So you really strong divine feminine. Again, it doesn't matter your gender because a strong divine feminine in a man is extremely beautiful, it's extremely powerful, and it's it's almost, you know, necessary for a complete whole person, right? So it's just this divine feminine energy within you that freaks people out it really is um, and it's because of this ancient persecution of the feminine on this earth of, of the misunderstanding um, of of the of the wanting to control something that can't be controlled you know of wanting to um, bring light to a place that's meant to be dark you know we're meant to have the balance the, the mystery so you're really comfortable in the mysteries you're really comfortable in the mysteries of life you're really comfortable in the um, you know interdimensional 
sort of places that we can travel to and you're really comfortable something to do with maybe even like the passages of life and death of birth and death you could be a doula like a birth doula or a death doula there's something about you're able to hold really big strong emotions like this energy is giving me this scorpionic sort of plutonian energy now like you can hold big energies that a lot of people might shy away from you know a lot of people would not be able to be um you know a death doula and work and sit with someone as they pass through to the no another lifetime because that would be too they couldn't do that they would be afraid of that and there's something about you have the fear fearlessness in the face of something that other people would be really afraid of you're able to hold that strength of that emotion you're able to you know hold the big emotions for other people as well and help them help them through that like that is part of the way that you're here to make a difference is like holding huge emotions like you could be a midwife for example and you can help someone through that portal that birth portal whereas other people they they just don't have they're not built for this like you know we're all built differently and you're just built in a way where you're really good at doing that <laughs> and you're really good at things that other people would be afraid of you know you're really good at um maybe being a medium or a channeler or a tarot reader um and i feel like as well i really got to sort that out you guys i'm sorry i someone commented and i just haven't gotten around to adjusting the settings um <laughs> It's so distracting, I know. Okay, so back to this. I was saying you could be a tarot reader. Yeah, you could be. I feel like you have a really strong impact on people, whether it's, you know, positive or negative. <laughs> like I said, I feel like you either really inspire people or you really trigger people. And both is making a different spirit saying and both is necessary, I guess, and important. <laughs> um, you're very Plutonian in that way, where Plutonian people, I find, they polarize. So people either love you or hate you. And it's just how you're meant to be. I also feel like you've gone through a lot of healing in your life. You really embody the healing path and you really show people um, the results, I think, of the healing path. And you've shown that through the way that you keep deepening in your connection to spirit and again people seem to recognize and notice that things always seem to work out for you you know even if you go through um ups and downs in life like you always seem to end up on your feet like you know a cat you know i'm getting the energy of a cat you know they say they have nine lives and they always end up on their feet no matter no matter what they're just really good and there's something about you and this is this is because of your connection to spirit and you're positive karma and things like this and people are noticing this they might not call it that they might not call it you know your connection to spirit is what you know guides you or whatever but they notice it they take notice and it makes a difference they're like hmm and you really you really embody the healing path and the transformation that happens from healing deep you know traumas and deep sort of psychological patterns and things like this like it's very psychological you you've healed deep deeply held patterns like also bloodlines I'm getting like you might be really really different from your family of origin and you're meant to be um, a curse breaker in your family of, of origin you're meant to break some kind of patterning that was passed down from um, your lineage from both sides you're meant to break that you're meant to really make a difference in your family of origin bloodline and you are like you already are um, but that's part of your role and you know, you might have also dealt with some issues to do with of family and belonging because you probably brought a lot of disruptive energy to that. And, you know, a lot of people don't want to change. They don't want to change their karma. They don't want to heal. They don't want to look into the shadows and see what's there. And it's like, you are a shadow walker. You live there. You're like, come on, guys. <laughs> it's not so scary down here let's just like work it out and i think that a lot of people probably weren't willing to meet you there and i think that's you know you've grown a lot from that experience of of being of healing even in an environment where other people are choosing not to heal they're actively choosing not to heal but you can still choose how to heal and so you've really made a difference in that in your family of origin um breaking the generational you know curse breaking the generational lineage of of, of certain patterns so I'm feeling like it's really really deeply held like psychological patterns that um, you know it could be many things for different people but um, there's something really important that you've managed to identify it first of all and then change it okay I'm back group one I just had to go fix the settings on my computer so that so that it doesn't have the thumbs down emoji happen <laughs> 
sporadically like that and it's not going to happen anymore so that's good okay so i want to tune in again for you how are you making a difference in the world right now what does spirit want you to know about how you're making a difference right now infinite abundance abundance is pouring into your life look at that look at that community scene they're picking apples off the tree okay i feel like it the way that you're making a difference is really like you seem to be very influential on the people around you because there's so many people in this card it feels like you're a way shower group one there's something about your energy where you're ahead of your times and you're meant to be there and you're meant to kind of show people what's possible <laughs> you're meant to really live in the realms of the impossible like people thinking that this isn't possible things like magic synchronicities just amazing things lining up. You're meant to kind of show people that that is real and possible and that you can integrate like synchronicities and, and magic and, and spirituality into your life. There's something about it, yeah, you're really here to show and inspire people, infinite abundance. To show people like that there's more than enough for everybody. There's more than enough for everybody. Also you seem to be making a difference in your actual family. I'm getting that again. Um, your role in your family, like you have a strong role in your family, whether it's, again, positive or negative, like it, as in if you've experienced it in a negative way, some of you might resonate more with that. Like it's been tough, you know, it hasn't been an easy path. But for others of you, it might just be that you really inspire your family to kind of grow and change. And like I said, break generational curses. And you might have had a lot of success with doing that. Some of you maybe maybe not so much and you might have had to kind of remove yourself from that environment but and in that case I think you show people again that they don't have to have you know a family to belong you don't have to have a family to feel abundant to have love around you to have um, a soul family like you really show people something about whether it is your actual family or you show people what it's like to have community at a deeper level than just having your blood rel relatives you really bring people in like at a deep level with your love and, and and I think that that's making a huge difference on people. You seem to show people, again, I'm just getting you show people the way. You're here to have answers. You're here to be a way shower. You're here to kind of have the tricks, the solutions, the answers to questions. Like you're kind of put on the path to answer people's questions almost like a messenger, a way shower. And you're making a difference in that you're answering messages like answering people's prayers and being like a messenger for spirit without yourself even knowing that you're doing it yeah it's like effortless for you <laughs> you might just be having a conversation and spirits able, like with somebody and then spirits able to work through you to kind of bring a message to that person and it's going to change their life or you might actually be more meant to kind of be a way shower. like i'm getting again this energy of you're being a way shower, but in a way that might be a little bit so add controversial <laughs> controversial or ahead of your time so that people are like less familiar with the kind of energy that you're putting out and they might think it's a bit crazy or out there or again controversial in some way but you stand in the light of truth and so there's just something about your energy that people can't deny even if you have a lot of people try to I don't know I'm getting this energy like some people try to silence you for some reason they try to silence your voice and like even if that happens spirit saying you still resonate through that and and resonate to people you really do you, your voice really resonates with people and you carry messages for spirit and i think that the way that you choose to live your life or certain tools that you've used you're meant to like share that with people you're meant to share the tools that you have used that have helped you and then it gives other people like an answer like a puzzle piece a key that that unlocks something for them you really give answers and keys and unlock things for people and a lot of it is through your own life like your own embodiment of the choices that you've made and how you've unlocked things for yourself like you healing yourself has more of an impact on the people around you than you think and that's something spirit really wants you to know you've really done a lot of work to heal yourself and I think that you're also living in alignment with your spirit you're living in alignment with your soul and because of that it seems like you have a lot of abundance <laughs> you have a lot of abundance you seem to have a lot of abundance to other people as well um, other people see you as very abundant and I mean look at this there's so many apples being picked off this tree you know there's just so much abundance in your life and 
you're just meant to kind of be this symbol of hope even or of um, abundance that people are like wow that there, there is another way of life like life can be kind life can be gentle and you're because you're kind you're gentle and you show that to people yeah it's something about the embodiment for you group one you really embody like the way you are a way shower and people believe in magic they really believe in magic because of you you really hold a very strong divine feminine energy and this can trigger people but it's meant to you're meant to trigger people to inspire them to be like because you're a way shower you inspire them to try something to to change in some way to um connect with spirit <laughs> and you inspire negative feelings in people too <laughs> but it really comes down to your connection to spirit this is the biggest difference that you're making is is how you bring this around with you everywhere you go is is your connection to spirit it really is so this is healing the world around you group one and yeah i feel like that might be the end of your reading but i do hope that it helped you in some way and i'm sending you heaps of love on your path bye okay group number two you chose the butterfly with beauty which is really nice group two how are you making a difference right now I feel like out of all the groups you feel like the strongest healer energy like you're healing the world <clears throat> by healing yourself first like true healers are always healing themselves and that's how they're able to help heal others and that's what you're doing that's your archetypal energy that you hold is like this very healing energy and you're healing without even having to try to heal like you heal spaces places things people you help them heal without even knowing just by being yourself it's really a special gift there's also some energy here around people really notice your healing journey. They notice like the different, you know, stages that you go through. Because with a butterfly, they obviously have caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly. And there's this constant kind of cycle of change. It's, it's, there's really distinct, three really distinct eras. So I'm almost getting for you that you might have three really distinct eras in your life. And then you sort of change and you almost morph into like a completely different person. Um, or it might just be that you're constantly kind of someone who is changing, evolving and growing. And this is how you're making a difference in the world and helping to inspire change in others and inspire change in the world. But it really comes down to like the reason that you're healing, um, changing is because you're healing. The reason that you change so much is because you heal so much. So when you when you heal, um, you change. <laughs> and it's kind of like, you know, different things appeal to a, a caterpillar and appeals to the chrysalis that appeals to the butterfly it's like very very different you know appetites very different likes and um, dislikes so it's like there's a really deep amount of change that you embody and I think that as well people feel like this sort of change isn't even possible like there's something about the way that you change or the way that you embody change where people feel like how is this possible <laughs> how is it possible for you to change so much and like because it's this card says beauty it could also be that your appearance has changed a lot and this for some reason i don't know helps people <laughs> it, it makes a difference people seeing that you've changed so much i think it's because you show people like what healing looks like like what it can end up looking like when you go through all of that pain you know and shadow work and stuff like what can you get on the other side like something very sacred something very pure and that's what you are and that's what you embody so i think really people look to you as being on a healing path and they feel a lot of inspiration it could also be that you are some kind of a healer as your profession some kind of a therapist and this is part of how you're making a difference right now i feel like there's something yeah you're just a healer you're a natural healer and you could also do it as your job i can see that very clearly and this is also how you're making a difference and spirit wants to basically acknowledge that you are making a difference in your in your role in the world and um, you really are yeah, it could also be that you're also meant to show people like how you healed or a technique that you used or say you're a therapist, you're meant to kind of educate people on on how therapy can help you heal or overcome trauma and things like that. Like there's something about maybe you're a bit of an educator to do with healing or you're meant to share your story in some way or share something that was key or pivotal for you in your journey. And yeah. It's like there's something that you've managed to break free from that other people are going to look to you in your life in, in their life to see 
how do you do that? And how is that possible? You've broken free from something. I'm feeling a strong freedom energy from this butterfly. You had to go through a lot of different phases <laughs> and breaking down of things, but you managed it. And so something again about how you, um, you embody something that is tangible. And with healing, you know, a lot of it can feel really intangible because <laughs> it can feel like, how do you ever know that, you know, the healing is kind of going to be over. And I think there's something about the way that you embrace the cycles of healing, the healing cycles. And maybe again, I'm getting a strong, like, psych like you've done a lot of therapy or you really know your psyche or you're really good at meditation or sitting in silence or you've done like silent retreats or there's something about how you've managed to like overcome the tough stuff and that people see that that is possible. People see that there's, that you really can overcome that or you really can, you know, heal. You really can heal. I mean, it's as simple as that. You really can actually heal. <laughs> That's how you're making a difference. The other thing is that I feel like you're really devoted to your healing path. And this really helps to reorient people because, you know, there's a lot of people in the world that like really aren't looking to heal, I guess. And so sometimes, um, you know, people can be influenced by that and they can be like, oh, it's not very important or, you know, kind of be influenced into like a negative kind of way. But it's like because you are so solid on your healing path, this actually influences people in a really positive way. It influences people to be like, this is worth it or I should try therapy or, you know, maybe I could get a tarot reading done or, um, you know, <laughs> they, they open, you open people. There's a real gentleness in your energy group too, but you open people to something new. You really do. You open people to something new. So the way that you influence the world around you is really in a really gentle way with the butterfly and beauty. Like I'm getting a Venusian Venus energy here with the beauty card and you kind of influence through magnetism. You influence through like almost through silence, through not even saying anything but your energy says it your energy says everything not really having to specifically there's something about that like your influence the way that you are influen influencing people is really non-verbal almost it's really you're not getting in someone's face and saying hey you gotta try therapy you're a mess <laughs> you're really gentle and really subtle and um, even if you are trying to influence someone to like get help or something, they would never know because you do it in a very artful way. You're very artful in the way that you suggest things and almost like you have the art of making someone think that they thought of the idea themselves, even though you kind of were trying to influence it a little bit. <laughs> That's kind of the energy I'm getting. Like it's very gentle. So how are you making a difference? I'm just getting like you really inspire people to heal. You inspire people to go on a healing path, to try something new, to get out of their comfort zone. But you do it in a very gentle way. Like you don't even have to tell them, you know, but you just talk, even just you, for example, you're very magnetic. That's what I was getting with the Venus energy. You're very magnetic. So for example, you could just talk about something that you're trying or something you're doing differently. And just by you talking about it and the passion that you have about what you're talking about, the passion that you have, like, you're like, this is finally working or this thing, or I'm going so, my therapist is amazing. I can't believe this. Like people are just like, wow, okay, I'm inspired. I want this. I like this. And so there's a magnetism there where it's like, you're just embodying your truth, like your path, what, what's going on. But people are like, hey, I actually, I can get on board with this. So it's very magnetic. You work through the powers of magnetism. And I think that you are like here to kind of be beautiful. Like, you know, there is a role of beauty in the world and um, you carry that gift. You carry that beauty. You, you see the world with the eyes of beauty. You see the beauty in the world. You know, you really see the beauty in the world around you. And then it helps others to see the beauty and people see the beauty in the world through you, through specifically you as well. That's how you also make a difference. People see beauty. It's like you, you breathe beauty back into the world. People feel like the world is more beautiful when you're around and they can see the world through your eyes and how beautiful things are. Yeah. You're very, really beautiful. <laughs> you're a really beautiful group too. I wasn't even going to say that, but spirit wanted to say that spirit just came through then to say, Hey, you're a really beautiful group too. Um, well, I was going to say something else. <laughs> You're a really beautiful group too. You're really magnetic. What was the other word I had? Okay. I was going to say that you're really good at embodying gratitude, the spirit of gratitude. That's what I was going to say, but spirit just threw in beautiful there. <laughs> well, yeah, you did choose beauty. So 
you are a beauty, but you're really, um, you embody gratitude in a way, like your heart energy is so big. Your heart energy is really what I've been picking up on this whole reading, like how expanded your heart is. And it really just, you can't help but heal people with that love that you have. You can't help but heal people and uplift people with this loving heart, this loving energy that you bring with you all around the world. Yeah, so I do feel the gratitude though. There's something about your gratitude, your ability to be grateful and embody gratitude. Okay, let's see what else, Spirit. What do you want Group 2 to know? What do you specifically want Group 2 to know about how they're making a difference in the world right now? Okay, the Five of Pentacles. Wow, you really, okay. You really bring hope to, man, my heart just like felt so much emotion just then. You really bring hope to people who have lost hope. Like this is part of your role. I feel like it's because you've overcome something that, I mean, most people would think it's impossible. Like you don't look at a caterpillar and think, yeah, definitely gonna be a butter butterfly, you know? You don't really see that in the caterpillar. You can't see the butterfly in the caterpillar. You just see a caterpillar. And a caterpillar is cool, but it's definitely not a butterfly. It's different, you know? So there's something about the way that you've able been able to become like grow from being a caterpillar, going into that chrysalis and then come out as a butterfly. You've markedly changed. You are markedly changed. And what you represent to people is the hope, is is the renewal that's possible when you really can heal from something it might be a health condition trauma childhood trauma addictions i mean just the transformation of of being you know not not on a spiritual path and then finding a spiritual path is a huge shift there's something you really speak to people who are really struggling though group two that's something part of your energy like that's why you have such a loving really loving energy is because you're actually meant to really reach to those spaces that of people who are hurting you're meant to reach to those spaces of people who are hurting and people the, those places of people that are that are ill that are diseased that are traumatized like you're meant to bring love there you, you there's something about your energy that brings love there and also shows people what's possible this is amazing like i feel like you could have the trajectory in your life of or have already like or be on the path of like really healing something massive like a health condition or you know, a childhood or an addiction or, you know, these kinds of things like this or healing from, you know, not being confident to being a public speaker, you know, having a huge, like massive, like there's something about the huge energies, totally different things. You're, you're here to go from one extreme to the other from, you know, the five of pentacles, which is like, you know, illness and, and poverty and, and struggles and, lack mentality and going to complete abundance like beauty the the venus energy magnetism just being able to pull and draw in things that you want wow <laughs> i also get the freedom energy again from you you embody freedom in some kind of specific way like you broke free from something in and healing in a big way is breaking free isn't it so yeah wow group number two what else do you want them to know group number two spirit rejuvenating rain clear the past heal the present okay wow this is a really specific specific reading for you group two like you have done something to actually clear your past in a way that has totally transformed you just like i said you don't really see a butter butterfly when you look at a caterpillar it's not the first you know you might know that it's going to end up there but you don't inherently think butterfly you think caterpillar right it's just different so there's something about like you used to be a caterpillar now you are a butterfly and people are like how how did you do that? <laughs> how did you do that and also are really inspired and it moves people's hearts beyond belief because you know like for people who might have given up you know or they feel like something is impossible and it's like you show them on the other side like there is more like you can clear the past and you can be in the present and feel safe and feel healed and there's something really special about that rejuvenating rain yeah you seem to be a very good very like very deeply emotionally intelligent i would say very deeply emotionally intelligent really really intelligent about the way you communicate your own experience of emotions and how you communicate other people's experience of emotions and this is really healing for people this is also how you make a difference is in your communication in the world like just anyone anyone that you end up having a conversation with there's some kind of way that you're able to move people and it's in this gentle way rejuvenating rain wow there's very very rejuvenating your energy is like i think that you 
wow you are a master healer like you almost draw energies in like I'm getting very unique energy from you group too it's almost like when you go into a space you almost draw energies in towards you and alchemize them there like you might go into like a land and um, like nature say like a river like this and you naturally kind of like work with the energies and you're doing this so like subconsciously and intuitively but it's almost like you're kind of working with the energies and you're almost moving moving the grief moving the sadness moving and it's like this collective you're really a collective healer and the way that you access that and move through that is very intuitive and natural and it makes a huge difference it makes way more of a difference than you probably have ever thought of because it just comes naturally and instinctively to you I think that you are a huge empath and that's also how you're making a difference and I do feel like you do like bring energies in you kind of soak it in like a sponge and then you're able to kind of alchemize and move things around in the world in the collective energy and the collective consciousness and I feel like you're at a point now like I wouldn't be worried about your boundaries or anything because I feel like you're at a point now you're working at a much higher level I'm feeling group two where you've kind of like a more evolved empath you know you've got you're a boundary empath you are just like soaking in every single energy around you and getting overwhelmed by it it's like I feel like your higher self and and you are working really in tune with like how do I flow with the with this gift of of being an alchemist of being able to alchemize energies like that's what you're able to do and so now I feel like your higher self is really more giving you just the energies that you're here to alchemize or the energies that you're able to alchemize instead of too much at once um you're able like you really are really good with those boundaries now so that's how you're making a difference is that you're actually alchemizing like a huge amount of energy and it's not that it's not yours though it kind of is yours but it kind of is bigger than you at the same time it's a it's a really interesting gift that you have it's it's yours but it's also connected to the collective consciousness at the same time you know it's like threaded there's threads throughout um as above so below kind of thing like i don't know how to quite put it but it's bigger than you but it is you in you at the same time because the collective lives within us you know it's like the unity you're connected in that unity frequency so <clears throat> So how you're making a difference is also because you have, you're a more evolved empath now, so you have better boundaries. So you're actually making a bigger difference in, in how you're actually alchemizing and moving through this energy and rejuvenating the earth around you. Yeah, there's a very soft, gentle, loving, healing energy that you bring to the world around you. And it's just, it's blissful. It feels really watery. Like group one felt a little bit more like forest trees. Um, like the trees kept coming through wanting to say hello in the garden energy earth energy this is really oh, sorry this is really water energy it's like beautiful you know and water is so purifying when water comes into a space like rejuvenating rain exactly and like waterfalls rivers lakes oceans and there again that ocean is that subconscious energy and it's like you're really working in that subconscious energy group number two but you intuitively are just so like blessed you're so blessed intuitively to know how to navigate that that space so you really should be a healer if you're not i feel, I feel like this energy is too strong of a healing energy for you to ignore um and i think that a lot of you already are a healer or working in some kind of healing arts um and spirit wants you to know that you're really making a difference in doing that you really are you're actually making a huge difference and keep up with it and you know just be so like i feel like the gratitude that you feel in your heart you know spirit feels that for you and spirit wants you to know that like there's this reciprocal energy the, i feel like you're really good at feeling gratitude in your heart you have a very strong heart heart chakra heart space um and spirit just wants you to feel that gratitude back like <laughs> that's what spirit wants you to know and again if you're not a healer right now you really should be i feel like it i mean i just feel like you're designed in this way like and healer i don't it doesn't have to be like an energy healer or anything it, it could be so many things like a therapist um you know any kind of way that you are helping others it could be anything you guys it could be some kind of alternative health it could be being a nurse it could be being anything i don't know but that's just your archetypal energy and if there's any kind of hesitation in you about should i should i do this path or not being healer yes 100 percent. <laughs> you're already on this path 100 percent. there my gosh again there's something something really beautiful about you look at this image like there's just such exquisite beauty in this image why are you not focusing <laughs> so I don't know maybe you also inspire people or encourage people to kind of like almost like dress in a different like 
you know, like when people feel more inspired to like get a bit dressed up or like put more effort into their appearance or something like, I feel like maybe you inspire people to do that or something like that. There's something about that, like they enjoy, like, you know, like putting a flower in your hair or, um, yeah, there's something kind of almost very, well, not almost very Venusian about you. And it could be that you kind of help people to enjoy and indulge in life a bit more in the, in the senses, like, yeah, you should, you know, <laughs> you know, experience the senses more like you encourage people to get into their senses and experience it and feel that luxury of life and be rejuvenated by the luxury of life and the the senses around you being rejuvenated is a very taurus energy as well right <clears throat> like kind of almost borderline materialistic but it's feel coming through in a positive way <laughs> like you you encourage people to i don't know maybe it's just like you like you like to get dressed up or you like to um, I don't know, like buy a nice, you know, a nice outfit every now and then or spend a lot of money on something and really, you know, invest in a high quality thing. That's it. And it's like people see this the way that you live, the way that you might like splurge on yourself or, or invest in yourself. And then they feel they feel inspired by that to do the same for themselves. Like you give people permission. That's what it is. Like, like you give people permission to indulge or to um, give to themselves more more freely and more deeply and to experience more yeah like of the senses of life to let themselves experience that more and indulge in that and and to feel to feel very kind of I don't know Venusian like <laughs> it feels very royal like gold jewelry um people perceive this in you that I think that you always look really nice or put together or always have your makeup done nice and or something like this it doesn't have to be that obviously <laughs> there's something about you particular like your appearance you look good um and so this inspires people to i don't know look good too or to to spend money on themselves like to invest in a massage or invest in in a yoga instructor or something like that and so it's positive like you really influence people in a positive way yeah 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 it could be also just your health like you're always investing in your health or going for runs or something like this and, and people are like okay 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 and but it's it's really nice. You really uplift people. You, you have a rejuvenating impact on people. And when people feel rejuvenated, they feel able to like make change or, or do something um, instead of feeling, you know, like burnt out and like, I can't do it. It's impossible. Like you really somehow bring an energy to people where they don't feel so burnt out or tired. They don't feel so like they can't try again. You show people like, hey, you can try again. You can get up and you can try again. It's very rejuvenating. Yeah, you give life back where there has become burnout, when the life force is gone. You help people to rewire themselves as well to bring the life force back in. And you also could do this a lot through your communication, your words, and your emotional intelligence, how you're emotionally intuitive with other people and you're emotionally able to you know, guide and direct, to guide and direct conversation towards their own awakening like wow I just had this huge reali realization and it was because group two helped me with this conversation that I had you know okay what do you want group two to know spirit about how they are making a difference reveal what needs to be seen wow you really help to reveal for others what needs to be seen like to show them their blind spots or to help them work through some kind of subconscious block or to heal from something or to have that breakthrough in awareness or I don't know to discover like finally the the thing that's gonna um help heal them like you are a revealer that's really beautiful but you reveal it like I said you reveal it within someone's own consciousness or within the, within their own psyche like you know how to like move the waters of someone's subconscious in a way that like something will bubble up that's like a gem, a gift. Um, see how there's these beautiful crystals all around the, the ocean and it's like the ocean is the subconscious and then these beautiful gems will just bubble up around your energy. That's how you influence others. That's the difference that you make. You allow what, what needs to be seen to be revealed and you hold space for that. And there's something about your energetic influence. It's just, you do this for people. And like I said, it, it, you help people through the conversations, through your emotional intelligence, through your own experience, through your natural healing abilities. But also, but also you don't do the work for them. Like you, it's like you help someone to come to this idea for themselves. 
you know and that's why i was saying it's very gentle you're not like forcing an idea down someone's throat or forcing the answer on them or you know as a therapist sometimes you might see that someone someone's block before they're ready to really see it so it's like you can hold space and and you can actually be patient which is allowing what needs to be seen to be seen there's something about your energy like you are magnetic you will pull those blocks out of people you will show them <laughs> so but there's a gentleness there's a subtlety to it so it's not like people don't feel you know revealed or exposed around you or anything like that they don't feel called out they actually feel nourished they actually feel rejuvenated because of the artful way that you are you're just an artful healer so you allow people to reveal for themselves what they need to know what they need to recognize what what truth they need to see in their life and you hold space for that with love and with your heart which is yeah just so healing and divine for this earth and again it's in a way where like almost people feel like they're healing themselves as well you know and i feel like that's important as a healer is like you want to empower people to feel like they're healing themselves and so there's some kind of balance that you walk where like you just do this naturally group two you're amazing let's pull one more card for you okay what does spirit want you to know about how you're making a difference again if you are working as a healer spirit really wants you to know that you're making a difference spirit really wants to acknowledge that and just give you so much love and gratitude for the work that you're doing on this earth you're so in alignment with your mission okay you are on fire right now trust the universe <laughs> wow you your energy influence on people allows them to trust the universe and so you know again you could be like a tarot reader or something as well because you know tarot can really help us to feel in contact with spirit and in touch with spirit you know and so there's something about your energy when you come in contact with spirit when you come in contact with others so people feel like they've come in contact with spirit because you're so connected to spirit so they feel more aligned they feel more like hey i can trust the universe the universe is on my side the universe is work working out like working for me you really help people reorient themselves so that they feel that trust they feel that perspective shift where they're like hey everything's actually working out for me all right group two you're amazing and yeah i'm sending you so much love on your path i'll see you in another video all right bye okay so group number three you chose the b luck industriousness and sweet victory <laughs> so i feel like how you're making a difference right now is through your work i feel like something that you're working on is really making a difference or, or you're or at your work at your job in your role in the world or a side project you're doing a passion project something about your role in your work is really making a difference i also feel like you're someone who i don't know i'm feeling like a community energy like you're really good at bringing people together or you're really good at maybe discerning people for yourselves like you might be someone who's more in, interested in solitude um as well but i think that there's something about your energy that naturally people are really drawn to um and I feel like yeah th the way that you're making a difference is something to do with your social life so you might be bringing people together in some way you might be um hosting like helping community hosting community or something about your community around you you're making a difference if you're more of a hermit or a solitude person which could be some people in this group i feel like the way you're making a difference is more through the way that you're discerning about who you're letting into your energy field and this is true for all of you guys it's more like it's like how you're being discerning about how you're letting people into your energy field is how you're making a difference because it's really leveling up your energy i feel like your aura is really sensitive to other people's energetic influence so you're meant to have the right people around you to influence you positively right so it's like when you get your community right when you get your environment right everything in your life starts working out everything in your life starts being like click 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 and that's what spirit wants you to know like you're really making a difference because you've somehow recently gotten your environment right and so things in your life are going click 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 <laughs> it's all falling into into place like dominoes there's going to be a succession of um events from this po point forward uh because of something that you're changing in your life right now like you've gotten the environment right or you you're just discerning enough now with with other people i don't know you've made a huge difference so yeah you are making a difference and I'm, I'm seeing you're making a difference in people around you's life but I keep getting that you're bringing people together you bring people together group three i want to ask why do i feel like you're bringing people together okay <laughs> for some it feels really different different energies in this group for some of you it's about bringing people together for some of you it's about cutting off from people <laughs> and like not having them in your life like there's something about okay the people around you right now you're making a difference in their life 
and if you're bringing people together then that's how you're making a difference but if you're really more in a solitude energy right now then the way that you're making a difference in the earth is by being in that solitude because you're meant to be and you're meant to have like a very strict kind of discernment about who you let into your energy field and this goes for everything it doesn't matter how much this person is in your life or not there's something about like the way that you get energetically influenced is really strong like i'm getting that you even get energetically influenced by your neighbor next door if your houses are too close together their aura will impact your aura and there's something about the way that your energy field around your body works where it's like you're actually meant to be quite a lot in solitude or have that auric field around you at least be in solitude to not have that energetic um, influence there's something about the social side where it's like yeah you really need some kind of solitude in, in your energy field i'm getting um and so you're working out boundaries that's what it is group three you've really figured out boundaries so that you can be in a group of people but you can maintain that energy field strength or you can um you know in 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 be a part of community without losing yourself there without without um you know something negative happening and it turning into like a cult or something <laughs> i don't know that's so funny okay what exactly so there's something strong strong about boundaries sweet victory is like you are really um mastering some kind of like boundaries so that your energy is not influenced by others that's what it is like you have manifested the environment you've manifested the situation or you have mastered the boundaries necessary to hold your frequency and to continue and also i'm seeing if certain things in your life are a little bit out of alignment um right now like you like i said like you might you might be still being influenced by, maybe in some way like by a neighbor or by, <laughs> by a job a boss or something i'm getting that the influence is like lessened a lot but if there is still some kind of energetic influence that you feel like is messing with this um with this need for boundaries or something then i'm seeing that you're moving into that now like you really i'm seeing again like this breakthrough for you so i'm seeing you're going to be moved to a place that's even better for you if you're not there already i know this group's a little bit more varied i'm feeling like a few different energies coming through but yes you all have very sensitive auras and um we got a falling card. This is the card that fell on the floor group three choosing you know i as soon as i picked up this card i saw it as choosing wisely but it's not it says choosing your path but i heard choosing wisely right as i went to say choosing your path choosing wisely all is possible choosing your path all is possible choosing wisely though you are making a difference because of your choices because you're choosing differently you're choosing wisely now you're actually making choices that align with your truth with your um you know instead of illusions it's like you're making you're making choices based in truth rather than illusions so for example instead of kind of um you know s sabotaging yourself but through the energy of obligation and just saying yes 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 to all these things that you don't really want to do and and um you know living life with the energy of obligation it's like you've changed that around and now it's like you're choosing differently you're not choosing from the energy of obligation anymore there's something in your life that's like fallen away and now you don't have to use the energy of obligation to like get yourself motivated to, to get things done it's like you're not living from you're not living from obligation you're living from like inspiration and it's really differently so you're choosing your path in a different way and you're choosing wisely i'm seeing like the biggest thing seems to be your discernment your ability to cut out things that aren't right for you and this is really creating the right environment around you like the people around you the right people around you the right community around you the right job around you the right workplace the right home environment the right um you know the right distance from neighbors <laughs> all of this stuff is manifesting for you so that i feel like you're going to be in this energy of like all is possible look at this person standing on the top of the hill and they're like all is possible for you group three i have to say your reading kind of comes come through a bit differently <laughs> spirit keeps wanting to talk about things happening in the future but you just gotta let spirit come through hey so all is possible spirit wants you to know that all is possible like the more that you have these really proper boundaries in place um and the more that you make choices that are wise and like you're discerning and you know that you know there's something about you're making choices that are wise and discerning and it's literally leading you to the path of everything where you're going to be this person standing on this hill and being like wow there's literally nothing holding me back and it's like you've mastered the art of discernment you've mastered the art of discernment this is how you're making a difference in the world right now is because you've mastered the art of discernment so you're not saying yes to the people places and things that are not right for you you're only saying yes to the people places and things that are right for you and this is literally changing your world it's completely changing your world around 
around because I'm seeing that in the recent past you've had to go through some kind of energy of obligation where you were obligated you had to do it and it was draining your life or so much and so it's like having that removed you're really seeing like what energy feels like when you're in the right environment when you're around the right people or when some something has been cut out or someone has been cut out and it's like you're seeing that you've chosen wisely and this is right the right path for you and again you're really meant to feel like all is possible um this is something about your the way that you make a difference is you like carry this energy of everything's possible and you really help to uplift and inspire and align people with the path of like wow everything really is possible there's also something about how you're making a difference is coming back to like something you're working on right now. You're working on a project, you're working on a passion project, you're working on a, at a job, you're working on something, a dream. Um, I don't know, <laughs> an artwork. It's, you're working on something and it's making a difference. I, I, I feel like it's really making a difference. And I feel like the other thing is that you carry this energy of luck. You carry this energy of luck and of things that people think is impossible you're like hey it's possible all is possible all of this is possible so this is also how you make a difference is like you really help to expand people's minds um to to break through like limiting beliefs where people thought like well this isn't possible you actually really influence people's minds their mental energy i'm getting with you group three you really change the way that people think about things and you show people where they've had sort of blocks in their thinking where they're like hmm. uh, you you really open them up where where they might have been like I could never do this I can never do this and then you open them up to be like wait I could do this I can do this and and so there's some kind of way that you <clears throat> you embody it in a really fiery kind of light passionate way though with the luck card on this beat it's like people perceive you as lucky and I don't know <laughs> I feel like it's not so much luck as you know the art of manifestation or whatever so I feel like you you know you're perceived as lucky and somehow this makes a difference to people because they feel inspired by you basically I think that you work a lot through the energy of inspiration and feeling a strong fire energy from you where it's like you you burn the light of the of the fire and, and it guides people and it inspires people it warms people it brings warmth you also really yeah, you're really warm energy group three. Like the way you make a difference is you really care. You really care. You really want people to know that, hey, all is possible for you. Like you, all is possible for you. And you really want people to break free of their limitations mentally, emotionally, like their limiting beliefs, their limiting mindset, their limitations about like what's possible. You really, <laughs> really passionately embody this thing of like, hey, it is possible. All is possible. Come on, guys. <laughs> I'm getting that so strongly. I'm feeling for you group three that you might kind of feel like you have to get to the finish line of something before you're going to make a difference in the world or before you're going to make a difference in your world or something and there's something about spirit wants you to see that you're actually making a difference right now in what you're working on in how you're in your role it's like you're energetically influencing everything around you already right now and I think sometimes you kind of put it into the future too much and you see it as something that you're going to do that's in the future when you know when this thing happens or when this thing is finished or something um and spirit just wants you to kind of like bring it back to the present moment because spirit's saying like hey you as a person are like really amazing and you've done so much to grow and change and evolve and and that makes a difference you know the work that you the internal work that you do on yourself like I think sometimes maybe you get too focused into the masculine of like what have I done you know what have I completed what do I have to show for myself and spirit saying like hey but you've done so much work on the inside to like actually change the inside so that you can manifest differently on the outside and get different results so yeah there's something about like bringing it back to um when we work on the inside of us like sometimes you don't get to see what what the results are of that straight away you know but but that's still happening it's still working it's still it's still manifesting so yeah spirit wants you to know that and um what else exactly would you like them to know spirit would you like group three to know it is about your job it's something you've been working on there's something you've been working on that's been making a huge difference and it's like you've carried this dream with you since you were a child with the six of cups like there's some kind of dream that you've always had since you were a kid about making a difference or you've always known that this was your role you've always, always wanted to do this and it's like now you're finally having the opportunity to work on that or to be that person to to be that role to this but it's, it feels very much like your job like the way that you're influencing the world is through work 
is through job is through the way that you're going to make money like you're going to release a project for example and make a lot of money from it like um or write a book and then release it and it's something that you've carried within you for such a long time and basically the way you're making a difference is working on this because there's a lot of work that has to go into things before it can be released into the world you know there's a lot of work that has to go into things before it can be released into the world is there anything else you want them to know about this because i feel like spirit kind of like wants you wants to talk about the work that you're doing right now Spirit, what, what do you want them to know about the work that they're doing right now? <laughs> Just that it's such a good idea. Um, <laughs> and there's something about your... You're really having this brilliant idea and it's like you're going and you're manifesting it, you're putting it into action, you're working on it. It's like, okay. And the way that it's making a difference is also through mental, again, the mental realm. Like you're going to change the way that people think. And it could be a writing project as well. It could be through people writing, uh, through people reading what you've written. But there's something really about the words, the mental energy, where it's like you help to rearrange things in people's minds. You help to um, reveal kind of like blocks or blind spots where people think like this isn't possible and said so therefore they have a closed door in that part of their mind and they don't even open it and explore and see if it is possible and you kind of show people the ridiculousness of that the ridiculousness of being closed-minded it's like you really put that in people's faces and I'm feeling from you quite a strong like masculine energy in the way that you make a difference it feels more like masculine it feels more like um you know maybe you're more someone who would like call someone out or say something to their face you know instead of kind of doing it behind the scenes or talking about them behind their back you might like go up to someone and be like this is what i think and um call them out and there's something about that 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 that's the way you're here to make a difference is that you're here to be quite bold even and and um call things out call call out you know dishonesties or or um even in a loving way for people you love like calling them out when they have a limiting belief come up or calling them out when they when they're um you know <laughs> i don't know doing something that that isn't in alignment for them like there's something about that it's like you kind of keep people around you like on the straight and narrow <laughs> it's pretty funny so you make a difference because you say things that other people wouldn't say you say things that other people would be too scared to say they feel like they're being rude and you might do this without even knowing that you're doing it and then be wondering why people think you're rude sometimes <laughs> but i think you also know that you have this this ability to, to to speak the truth and to call things out and i mean spirit loves this about you and, and it's how you make a difference because you know you could actually really get people to like stop doing things that are not in line meant for them to do and maybe it took something to like really you know smack you in the face like to someone to say hey you shouldn't do this anymore uh, for them to actually be like whoa okay so you kind of have this ability like you, you kind of have um like a divine judgment energy where you're not afraid to actually put a judgment ruling on things and that actually helps people a lot like you'd be surprised how much people like to he hear from some something something that is more like an object like you really have that energy of like objective truth like this is the objective truth it is this and then people feel really freed by that they're like oh great and obviously also some people don't like you and don't you know don't don't like that you're blunt and that you call them out or whatever which is you know natural but i'm seeing that the way that you make a difference is that you really help people to yeah to really just see the truth and to put it in a really black and white way where it becomes really simple and right and wrong becomes really simple and you know you kind of come back down to basics and you kind of just make people see like that it's really obvious it's really interesting that's kind of the influence that you have on people is like people just think oh well this is really obvious i can't believe i didn't you know i can't believe i was so confused about it before so yeah so there's a lot of clarity you bring the gift of clarity the difference that you make is you bring clarity and something about your work that the work that you're doing brings clarity the work that you're doing is going to um help bring some kind of divine truth to people as well or help people to align as well on their path more deeply you really help people align deeply on their path and to like level up you really are an energy of leveling up like if you come into someone's life they're gonna level up <laughs> i've met people like this they're amazing when you like when you come into someone's life like you probably bring a lot of change <laughs> a lot of change into someone's life and it's because you show people where they're out of alignment and where they're kind of like limiting themselves holding themselves back and so you're like hey why don't you raise this the bar like up here because you can meet it you can go there you know and people were kind of like um 
what is it like they were holding themselves back they weren't like really letting themselves live or try and it's like you show people like hey it's right here why not just reach out and grab it and then they do and they're like oh my god this was here all along so yeah you really make things feel simple easy and obvious like like i said like black and white truth kind of objective truth you really help to simplify things to bring clarity and to ground people into making the right choices and to really help people clear up any kind of um you know mind control it feels like you really help people break free of mind control yeah and it's like i think you've had this gift ever since you were a kid because we had the six of cups come out it's like you've always had this ability to kind of see through things whereas a lot of people have to learn that after a long 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 time and it's like you've always had this ability to kind of cut through the bullshit <laughs> and just say the truth and maybe say the uncomfortable thing that like people <laughs> didn't really want to hear as well okay so so you're definitely making a difference with your work and with what you're working on right now spirit what else is it that you would like well you're gonna go for a different thing what else is it you would like group three to know how you're making a difference okay it feels like you're also making a lot of um like progress in your own healing because we have the water fairy feelings and emotions and i feel like you might have I don't know spirit wants you to know that you're more what is it you're more ahead than you think you're more ahead than you think in your own healing journey okay because you might feel like um overwhelmed or something sometimes by how far you have to go or how dense things have been you know just the painful side of of life it might have felt like a lot um or you might have some kind of issues with processing feelings and emotions you know there, there might be some kind of issues with that okay but spirit wants you to know that you're actually a lot further ahead in your healing journey than you think then you can really tell from where you are right now and i do feel like you're going to feel like your head comes up from um being underwater see how this fairy is kind of in the pond it's like she's just been underwater and she comes up it's like hello that's kind of energy like you're gotta have a breakthrough and you can't see it from where you are right now that's what it is because it's like you're underwater you're underwater you're underwater and then all of a sudden you're above water and you can breathe again and life feels easy again you know so there's something about this like hang in there because you're making more of a difference in the healing work that you're doing on yourself the prayers that you do every day like you know your little intentions the candles the journal whatever it is that you're doing for your own well-being however small however much you think does this even really make a difference spirits like hey yeah it does it does make a difference it actually makes a huge difference a huge difference wow a huge difference <laughs> okay uh what else is this? you would like them to know spirit the queen woman fertility feminine power sexuality and friendships i feel really drawn to the french the word friendships in this card friendships it's really interesting to me but there's something about spirit wants you to know that you make a difference through your relationships like a lot and there's something as well about maybe you've had issues in the past with communication within relationships where it felt like you couldn't get through to people or you would it would the, the truth was so obvious to you but they couldn't see it they were in denial or something like this um or like people took you in the wrong way they thought you were too blunt they thought you were rude or something like this and there's something about clashing in the communication um with this knight of swords it's like the communication for some reason maybe in the past with friends or with with other people like it wasn't quite smooth it wasn't it's like that you always came in with such a beautiful heart but it's like other people didn't always see that they didn't always see that in you and so there's some kind of wounding here that you're healing and um spirit wants you to know that you actually like have always come at things from from a good place in your heart so it's like you don't have to feel like guilty or bad or shame or something about any past relationships that didn't work out that's that's kind of a message coming through but it's also a message of like things changing with your communication style and like something about you are really going to start to see the way that you make a difference okay this is what it is it's like in the past when you've tried to make a difference with people and be like hey try this thing or and like been really blunt and <laughs> told them the truth or pointed something out it's like you might have had you might have had it met sometimes with negativity or you've it might have had it met with um 
anger, or people thinking you're rude, or or people just not taking your advice at all and not hearing it as wisdom and not even trying the thing that you know would help them and heal them. And it's like, why wouldn't you even try it? Come on. <laughs> That's energy. It's like this frustration with humans <laughs> with people where it's like why can't I get through to them why 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 is this like no one wants to do the thing that I said uh, there's something about that that's changing and you're going to start to like really know how you're making a difference in the world you're going to start to really know like okay I actually am getting through to people like your communication is going to start getting through to people and it's because of some kind of thing I don't know you, it's like you you're healing something within yourself and it's like now it's like you're really going to feel like you're making a difference you're making a difference you're making a difference your communication is getting through to people they resonate they're like yes this is this is so and so it's like you're going to start to feel the gift of your of, of who you are the gift of your bluntness of your truth of your um sharp sword kind of like communication style where you cut through the illusion and you're like no this is what it is this is the truth and 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 you hold strong in that and it's like you're going to start to see that in a in a really beautiful way you're going to start to see the gift of that instead of i think in the past you might have experienced it more from a negative side of like why am i like this or why doesn't anyone you know hear me or, or why can't I get through to anyone or whatever and so yeah I'm seeing you actually getting through to people with this queen energy and with the friendships energy it's like reciprocal people are like yes I value you I hear you I see you I value you and that's something that's really important spirit saying because I think that you've made a lot of a difference in your life but you haven't always been able to get the gratitude from others you haven't always been able to get you know, people being like, hey, thank you so much. You totally, you know, woke me up to this thing. You might have instead gotten a lot of anger or, <laughs> you know, people not listening or not, not taking on board what you had to say or not, not, not seeing your wisdom, not seeing you for your wisdom. And so I think that is painful. And I think, you know, that's some kind of like karmic pattern or something that you've had to overcome in this lifetime because I'm seeing you getting to a point in your relational energy where you really get through to people. They really hear you. You really are, you know, this gifted person where, yeah, you still are going to have this sort of communication, but it's like something about the way that the energy comes through. It's like, it's not as harsh. It's not as um, polarizing. It's like people really resonate. And that's going to feel really different for you, group three. It's going to feel really healing. And I feel like it's going to also really soften you into your heart space where you're not going to feel so like disappointed by the world or disappointed by humanity, like let down by the world, like you're going to actually start to feel a lot more compassion and 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 stuff um in general it's going to heal your heart like so much to be able to relate to people and get through to people because i'm feeling like this communication thing is so vital for you to find people that you can get through to that you can communicate with that's like reciprocal like i hear you you hear me i see you you see me you know yeah okay okay group three what do you want them to know spirit what do you want them to know about how they're making a difference right now embrace the flow of life relax <laughs> relax new moon in cancer how are you making a difference right now through relaxing <laughs> isn't that nice Group one, I mean, group three, that's a that's a legit message. You actually are making a difference right now through relaxing. So I think maybe you needed to know that because maybe you have like a bit of a type A personality and you're like, I'm not making a difference in this world unless I'm working 100 miles an hour, a million hours a week. <laughs> not even possible, right? So yeah, there's something about maybe you've forced to be a bit more relaxed lately or you've been letting yourself relax a bit more and spirit's like, yes, 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 yes to that yes to that because it's helping you make more of a difference it's helping you be more productive it's helping you it's helping you it's helping the world if it helps you it helps well so full moon in gemini embrace the flow of life embrace the flow of life how are you making a difference right now okay there is something about you really going with something like relax like you might have to be going on a path okay how do i put this how do i how do I word this spirit? Give me a, give me a help. Give me a helping hand. Give me a, give me a helping hand. Oh, great adventure. Take a risk, venture forward. Yeah. Okay. It's like, there's something that you've been going with. Embrace the flow of life. You've been relaxed about it, even though it might evoke fear or it might evoke 
like other people might be like, how are you relaxed right now? Um, or you might even be like, how am I relaxed right now? <laughs> but you are, you're, you're doing it. You're relaxing and spirit's like, yes to relaxing because that is helping you because you're embracing the flow of life and you're realizing like that embracing the flow of life is actually a risk. It's actually a risk because you have to let go. You have to let go of control of knowing definitely if the outcome is going to be okay. So there's something that you're taking a risk on right now on your life and that's making a difference because you're venturing forward you're taking a risk that's making a difference so keep taking a risk keep basically keep relaxing about the risk that you are taking or the adventure that you've decided to go on and keep embracing the flow of life because spirit's like hey this flow is going to bring you to a really positive place like i've been feeling that for you group three there's something about the future like just ahead for you that's really really good and spirit kept wanting to talk about it um some kind of a breakthrough or shift and it's really really positive so yeah keep embracing the flow of life because it's like i feel like you might be intuitive about you might be taking a risk because you're intuitively feeling like hey i think this is going to work out i think this is actually going to you know pan out for me and spirit's like it will <laughs> it really will um spirit saying yes yes to the adventure yes to the risk taking I feel like spirit's saying relax because it's almost not even a risk at this point. It feels really assured, like it feels like it's a sure thing. So anything that, you know, you might be worrying about, spirit's like, just relax. It's going to be fine, okay? All right, group number three. I do hope that helped you in some way and I'm sending you so much love in your path and I'll see you in another video. Bye.